Hey everybody, it's Free Ride Friday today where we give away a free ride to the $100 MBA training and community. So make sure you hang on to the end of the episode to learn who won this week's free ride. All you gotta do to win a free ride to the $100 MBA is leave us an iTunes rating and review. Everybody who leaves us an iTunes rating and review enters our weekly draw to win a free ride to the $100 MBA training community that's over 180 video lessons interviews with experts, workbooks, a whole lot more. You could win too. Just leave us a rating and a review. All right, guys, let's jump into today's episode. hey Welcome to the 100 Hour MBA Show, the business podcast that only gives you the business skills you need but reminds you why did you get into this business thing anyway? And we do it with our daily 10-minute business lessons for the real world. I'm your host, your coach, your teacher, Omar Zenholm. I'm also the co-founder of The $100 MBA, a complete business training and community online. And today, you will learn how to deal with politics in business. Sometimes in business, things get kind of weird. You got to deal with some politics. I mean, we're dealing with people here, so obviously, you're going to have some situations you're going to have to handle with a lot of tact. People get sensitive, they get emotional, and some people out there are pretty calculating. How do you handle all these politics as well as your own business? You got to do business, right? That's what we get into in today's episode. So let's get down to business. Today's episode of The $100 MBA Show is sponsored by DaVinci Virtual Office Solutions. DaVinci provides awesome support solutions for mobile entrepreneurs, location-independent entrepreneurs, those of us who are always on the go. DaVinci levels the playing field for your company so you can achieve your maximum potential with minimum overhead. They offer a great live reception service so you can have DaVinci receptionists answer your calls and represent your company and your business the right way. You can also reserve day offices or meeting spaces online via their app. And you can just use it when you need it. Only pay for what you use. And there's no long-term contracts, no equipment to buy, no staff to hire. Super easy. So get a risk-free trial right now at davincivirtual.com slash MBA. That's davincivirtual.com slash MBA. Let me define what I mean by politics. Politics is when the idea of business is all about relationships is not going your way. Some people will sometimes not value you or even like you. This will happen if you are successful. This doesn't mean you're a loser, doesn't mean that you're not good. It just means that some people are just not gonna be feeling you. And politics happen, people's emotions happen. This may be other people in your industry, this might be the leaders in your industry, and it might even be potential customers. The thing is that people like doing business or having relationships with those who they trust and like. And sometimes you may not be one of those people. So let me start off by saying, don't take it personal. We're not all meant to be best friends. Sometimes we're not going to be a good fit for various reasons. But the point is, is that you need to worry about you and you need to focus on your business. But when politics arise, you need to know how to deal with it. This could be something as simple as approaching somebody to partner with you on a webinar or speaking at an event or asking them to be on your blog, or your podcast, or vice versa, you being on their platform. So I wanna share with you some insights today on how to deal with strange, uncomfortable political situations in business. All right, insight number one, always stay professional and polite. I always say mama didn't raise no fool. I say it as a joke, but it's true. I wouldn't put something out there, I wouldn't reply to something that my mom would not approve. I always like to keep things professional, and polite. At the end of the day, they're still a human being. I should treat them with respect. Even if I feel like I'm not being treated with respect, retaliating in a disrespectful way really is not going to do me any good. I just like to keep my hands clean and stay professional and polite. That way, no one can say that I've done something wrong. No one can say that I am a rude person or that I have tarnished my image in any way. Your reputation in business is everything. It's what people know you for. It's your brand. So make sure whatever it is, if it's a reply to an email or a personal uh, encounter, make sure you're professional and polite. I like to reply if I'm getting rejected on something or you know, I get a reply of like, no, I don't wanna work with you. So if you ever get an email that says, you know, no, I don't wanna work with you or whatever it is, you could just say, you know, thanks for the discussion, I appreciate your time. That's it, just stay polite, stay professional. Number two, 
when it comes to business, when it comes to the politics of business, the worst thing you can ever do is publicly badmouth anyone. You know, no one likes a gossip, a blabbermouth, someone that just constantly talks bad about everybody. If I'm in a meetup, if I'm having dinner with a bunch of people and somebody is badmouthing people all the time, they're just going from one person to another saying this person, that person, I'm very cautious of that person. I don't want to stay close to that person because there's a good chance they're going to do the same thing with me. They're going to talk about bad about me for some reason uh, with other people. So don't be one of those people. Don't be somebody that's constantly talking about other people. It gets around. People don't want to be around you because you have this negative vibe about you. And usually people that badmouth other people, it's because they're insecure about their own situation. Again, make sure no one has anything on you that you're completely polite, professional about other people. You can have your opinions about other people. And obviously there's exceptions to this rule. If somebody's like completely uh, scamming people or uh, really treating people dishonestly and you want to warn them against them on a one-on-one basis, listen, you know, I've worked with this person before. They're not honest. You know, they haven't, you know, done right by me. I just want to warn you and leave it at that, you know. But publicly, you know, in a gathering telling people, you know, this person, that person, this is really unprofessional and it really can get you in a lot of trouble. It's funny because no matter how large your industry is, as you start growing, you realize how small it is. All right, number three, don't bend over backwards to make a relationship happen. Make an effort, but don't force it. Sometimes you're not going to connect with people. Sometimes that opportunity that you're looking for is just not there. You're just not going to speak at that event or you're not going to work together in this new business venture or this you know, affiliate program or whatever it is. It's just not happening. They're not interested. And the more you push, the worse it gets. You should know early on if it's working, if this relationship is going to happen. And if you feel like it's not happening, don't force it. All right, insight number four, create your own opportunities. Don't rely on favors. I'm not going to lie. In business, people do favors for other people all the time. That's what relationships are all about. You make introductions for people. You help people out. You like people's work and you say, I want to help this person out by making an introduction or supporting their work somehow or you know, giving them a shout out in my, on my platform. So this is really important in business you know, to help each other out. But don't rely on it. Let your work create your own opportunities. Get busy creating great content. Get busy creating your platform, your body of work, the thing I talk about all the time. People will respect you and recognize you for your work and they'll reach out to you and say, hey, I would love to have you on my podcast. I would love to have you uh, speak at my event or I'd love to work with you or do a joint webinar or whatever it is. Let those opportunities come to you. You can go out for those opportunities, but again, like we said, don't force it, but don't rely on these opportunities. Don't rely on introductions. Don't rely on favors. Rely on your own work. And the best way to get opportunities, like I say, get busy working. Create great content and people will recognize it. Guys, I got one more powerful, huge, important insight to share with you when it comes to dealing with politics and business. But before that, I gotta give love to today's sponsor, DaVinci Virtual. If you want your business to become something bigger, you should really check out DaVinci Virtual. Their friendly DaVinci receptionists can answer your calls. You can even choose your own business address from over a thousand iconic locations. They give your business a powerful image and support it so you can focus on your talents and grow your business. Looking to run a one-day workshop or a meeting in a major city? You can reserve day offices or meeting spaces online right from their app when you need to use it, where you need to use it, and only pay for what you use. And all their meeting spaces are fully loaded with all the equipment you need. What's awesome about DaVinci Virtual is that they level the playing field. They make you, as a small business entrepreneur, a huge company and have a huge presence. And best of all, there's no long-term contracts, no equipment to buy, no staff to hire. It's super easy. So give them a try. Get a risk-free trial right now at davincivirtual.com slash MBA and make it happen. That's davincivirtual.com slash MBA. All right, guys, my last insight when it comes to dealing with politics in business is if you're getting a bad vibe from somebody, if you're just getting a feeling that, hey, this person's not really making me feel good or I'm not getting a good feeling from this relationship, my advice to you is to distance yourself but respectfully. I know this might surprise you, but I've been doing this for quite some time, and I've had situations where I realize that sometimes people are just not meant to work with you, and their vibe, their energy is just, you know, not good for you. It's not good to have that in your life. They take away your time, your energy, and they don't make you feel good. This is not some woo stuff I'm talking about. I'm talking about real life experiences where you meet people, you get to know people that just give you the heebie-jeebies, so to speak, or they just give you a bad vibe. They just don't 
really resonate with you strongly as somebody you want to spend time with. So distance yourself respectfully. Just let them know, hey, you're busy. You respect the fact they're reaching out to you and that they want to you know, work with you, but let them know that you're just unable to do that at that time or you're unable to do so, period. You don't have to explain yourself too much. You don't have to give an over-elaborated explanation. A lot of us feel like we have to explain ourselves. You don't. Just say, hey, I just can't do it. Sorry. You know, the fact that you're replying and you're being respectful is good enough. Some people don't reply at all. But sometimes you got to trust your gut. Sometimes you just don't get a good feeling from somebody. You just feel like you can't trust them. You've just seen a few things that just huh, rub you the wrong way. They can suck your energy. They can suck your time. So please, distance yourself, but respectfully. Okay, guys, that wraps up today's lesson. But today is Free Ride Friday. So I'm going to give away a free ride to the $100 MBA training and community. That's over 180 video lessons, interviews with experts, community forum, workbooks, a whole bunch more. Who won this week's free ride? Let's see. Oh, and remember, guys, you can win a free ride too. Just leave us an iTunes rating review. Every week we do a random draw, just like this one right now. So let's see who won the free ride. And the winner is El Amo. That's E-L-A-H-M-O. El Amo says, great podcast, five stars. I don't usually listen to podcasts a lot. I start with my subscriptions, but don't really continue with most of them. The Hunter All Bay is the one rare podcast I always listen to. Great topics, advice, and perfect length makes this a must-listen for everyone. Thank you so much, El Alma. It's an awesome review. And congratulations and welcome to the $100 MBA training and community. Your mission is to email us at contact at 100mba.net so we can hook you up with the free ride. Guys, thank you all for listening to the $100 MBA show, leaving us iTunes rating and review. If you have not yet, and you're on your iPhone right now, just tap the cover art. You'll see a link that says, give us a rating and review. Tap that link. The rest is super easy. We would appreciate and love to hear from you. It's a great way for you to support the show and to let us know what you love about these episodes. All right, guys, I want to leave you with this. You always hear that an entrepreneur's journey is like a roller coaster. It's up and down, and sometimes you feel like you're on top of the world and you're unstoppable, and sometimes you feel like you're not going to make it. You can't do it. And sometimes when you're dealing with difficult situations, politics in business, you're more on the low end because you feel like, oh, you know, it's hard to get a break or it's hard for people to, you know, recognize me or whatever it is. I always like to seek comfort in that fact that, you know, there is ups and downs and that is the hallmark of an entrepreneur. So when I am down, I feel like, okay, this is what it means to be an entrepreneur. I'm doing it. I'm on that path. And just like you are down, you will go back up. That's how it is. It's normal. Just keep working hard. I like to just stay busy with creating the content I create. I like to stay busy with focusing on the business, growing, doing good work. And that kind of keeps me away from thinking about, you know, the down times or the difficult times or the politics or whatever it is. And it's just good time spent. So if you feel like you're on the roller coaster, enjoy the ride. You know, put your hands up, scream. It's all good. (laughs) And just know it's par for the course. That's how it is. And even the greatest entrepreneurs, even the best ones out there talk about this concept. I just saw an interview with Mark Cuban talking about this. Mark Cuban is the owner of the Dallas Mavericks, and he's also one of those guys on Shark Tank. And how even now, there are ups and downs for him as a billionaire, right? But um, obviously, as you improve, as you get better, those downs are not the same downs that you have. They're all relative. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I'll check you in tomorrow's episode, which is Q&A Weekends, where we answer your questions. I'll check you then. Take care. Take care.